Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo guide on this week's Nightfall ordeal, which is Lake of Shadows. And I'm pretty sure most of you will be aware, there are double rewards from this Nightfall. So, a lot of stuff to go for. Ascendant Shards, Ascendant Prisms. And I'm going to show you how to do that solo on console. So, we're going from, we're doing the Master. So, we obviously want to get Platinum Rank. And this took me just about 20 minutes to do. So, it's, it is a reasonable farm for Platinum. What you're going to need, as I'm doing it, as you can see on the Warlock, you're going to need Void Walker, Top Tree, mostly for the Grenade. Healing Rift, Vortex Grenade, and I go with Strafe Glide because it allows me to control my jump more than I normally would be able to with something like Burst Glide. You want a Hand Cannon, obviously for Unstoppable Rounds because we have Unstoppable and Overloads in this one. I've got Timed payload, I'm using the 7th Seraph Officer Revolver. You don't have to use that hand cannon, but a hand cannon for Unstoppable, you could even put on, I think, Pulse Rifle is available this season as well. I've went with a bow, uh, overload, but for, for the overload uh, arrowheads, Dragonfly Explosive Head. It also is an arc bow, because you need to be able to cover all the damage types, so you can, as you can see, we're using Xenophage's Heavy, that's a solar machine gun, so we've got solar arc and void that's going to be the weapons for the armor i've got quite a few boss resists uh that's because the champions are classified as bosses so they will they will trigger as well that will just help you withstand any shots from them any blast back all that type of stuff so we've got boss resist special ammo finder and taking armaments now special ammo finder you'll find if you don't put stuff like that on you dr the drop rate for your ammunition is is really low so it's worthwhile having that stuff on taking armaments well grenade kills get us heavy what more is there to say about that i'm using the controverse holds that's my exotic of choice because it gets my grenade back faster i've got boss resist again i've got fast ball which allows me to throw my grenade farther and large weapon loader which will help us with the xenophage Oh, the chest plate is probably the most important piece of armor. As you can see, we've got void damage resistance because there's a lot of void in this, a lot of void fire. There's a lot. Of, there's probably even more arc. So you you can go good with either one. Uh, counter charge, overload grenades, and high energy fire are very important. So basically, counter charge is a mod from the artifact, and it means any time you stop or uh, suppress any of the champions, whether it's break a barrier shield suppress an overload or stun uh unstoppable you will become charged with light i've chose my outlet for my charge of light to be high energy fire so every time i get charged with light my weapons do more damage it's the synergy between those two is perfect overload grenades basically mean my grenades once i charge them and throw them it will stop an overload champion it will make an over it will weaken an overload champion boss resist again machine gun scavenger Special ammo scavenger and taken barrier, all very important. You'll just pick up more machine gun ammo when you when you uh, get heavy bricks. That's perfect. Same with special ammo. Uh, oppressive darkness, so good. Basically, your void grenades do a lot more damage, and they they weaken the enemy and they make the whole. En You'll see here in the run. I'm getting critical numbers from the the unstoppables when I put a grenade on them. The, the Xenophage doesn't have a crit spot, so it gives you critical damage, which is perfect. Discipline mod, so that I can increase my grenade recharge rate. And Taken Invigoration, every time I take down uh, an Elite Taken, I'll get my Rift straight back. So that's the setup for the run, guys. Now on to the actual run itself. So as soon as you load into this area, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be turning left, or you can go straight forward through to the Trossland area. I'm sure most people know this area. And you're going to make it to the first encounter, which is you'll have a Blight, an Unstoppable, uh, Elite fa ta uh, Cabal, Taken Cabal Phalanx, two Arc Shielded Cabal, and a whole host of Taken Sion. So what we're going to do is we're going to pre-charge a grenade and throw it at this box. Because what happens is normally once you start killing these these uh taking scions they all back away so we want them to back away into that grenade 
I didn't attack the Arc Shielded Cabal because I want them both to come to straight in front of me, which they will. They'll make their way through the the blight. And as you can see, you take a shield down, one hit with a Xenophage, they're dead. And that's pretty much you're you're pretty much safe in this area now. You can see that taking that taking phalanx. He kind of just got a little bit big for his boots and thought he'd cheap shot me. And now he's ran back, back in his, his little cupboard, and he'll wait until we're ready for him. <laughs> so we'll go down here to the right, and we're going to just shoot the blight, get both of these ads to push us, and we're going to charge a grenade as soon as the t the, the unstoppable the unstoppable come over, and then he'll jump down. We're going to stop him midair. The grenade has absolutely smashed them, and now we're getting tons of crit numbers, and we can melt them. Normally what you'll have, you'll still have a couple of scions up left because they hide up at the top right. We've got one there. We've done, we, we done a really good job of clearing those. Now all we've got to do is take down the blight and move on to the next area which will consist of an overload. This, this whole next area, this next little part of the area will have an overload and two unstoppables. So as you can see, we took that, we took that sniper out. Normally what I do once I take the sniper out is I throw a charge grenade at this box. But this time, the sci all the taken pushed me, and they normally don't. They normally run away. There's a couple of little snipers here, a couple of little taken hobgoblins. Make sure you take them out. Be aware of their retribution blast, which is the blast they send after you once you hit them. Don't be where it's going. Don't don't let it hit you. Basically. Now, what normally I do is I charge a grenade and I call be a grenade all the way up onto this this taken. Uh, overload champion but because I didn't have a grenade I've got overload arrows obviously so I just stopped them with an arrow and just pushed them a little bit more aggressive than I normally would be but as you can see you can actually do that with the xenophage the xenophage makes that possible you're gonna have a ton of these little thrall just don't don't become you know don't don't let them gang up on you don't let a whole host of them get around you because one on their own is one on their own is okay a couple uh, all of them you're dead so here's the first of our unstoppables you can see what i wanted ideally was for them both to push me at the same time so what i've done is i'm just retreating i want to charge a grenade i want them both to come into that grenade and i wanted to stop them both together and as you can see I'm getting those crit numbers and this guy here is stoppable so we just finish him with a with obviously a finisher that's the champions here there's now further on up there's another overload and another two unstoppables but doing it this way you're not really gonna get yourself into too much trouble so the kind the kind of work in progress that we're doing is we're try any ads that will encroach us we'll deal with but we're trying to make sure we can't be taken from range and then we're dealing with the champions first so there's a whole host of these thrall in, in, in this blight. We're going to charge a grenade, throw it outside, and then we're just going to push up close enough that they'll come after us and let the grenade finish them and get all that lovely, juicy, heavy ammo. Now, just we're just going to hit this blight. With a, we're not actually trying to, trying to break it. We're just going to hit it with some shots and weaken it because we want to make sure we've got a grenade. We've seen this ad up here, so we'll just step outside the blight and then go to the edge of it and then melee... As you can see, I was trying to get a little bit of explosive damage on, on the ad so I could get the melee, which would give me my grenade. Well, give me half my grenade, and that was more than enough to get a full grenade. Reload your Xenophage. Get in a habit of reloading the Xenophage at all times, because you'll see in here there's a time I go after an unstoppable, and I've only got three rounds. Now, that, th what, what you just saw there was me actually using my grenade to regenerate the heavy ammo I'd used already on it. So from close range, you're looking at five shots with a xenophage whilst whilst you have an active charged grenade. From from, from close range it's four, from range it's five. If you're you'll see later on there's there's a, there's an area where we'll, there'll be overloads and we'll be taking them from a bit further away. Four shots won't do it. You have to hit them with five. So now that we took down, we've got the overload down, we've got all these little ads down, we've got the three, the two um, major and one elite taken captain, solar shielded taken captains, we've got them down. Now we've got the unstoppables. Now, 
it was unfortunate. There was one, ju the one of the unstoppables was just behind the other one. I wanted to get the stop on both of them at the same time. It didn't work. And as you can see here, we've got, he's finishable. We'll get him to push up and then we won't waste any more rounds on him. We'll just finish him. And he dropped his attrition. So we get my health back as well. A lot of the ads, I've, I found that if I need attrition, I get it. It drops from an ad when I need it. So what we're going to do is take this blight down. There's still a, 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 a phalanx inside. It doesn't really matter. We'll take him down as soon as the, the blight's gone. Now we're going to get two more overloads. We're going to get an arc shielded kind of centurion boss type of character and a couple of a couple of scions. So what we're going to do is just put a rift down and we want to take down the arc shielded kind of boss. So what I'm going to do is hit a couple of shots and then I'm going to throw a grenade and just flush out the adds and just try and hit the the boss as many times as I can. And as you can see, that killed the boss. So now we can we can push up a little bit closer. You see those? Did you see those uh, repeated blasts coming from the champions? Well, those retribution blasts that come from the champions are hit a lot harder than the normal hobgoblins, but you get like four times as many. So I've I've took the safe option, come all the way around the edge, just to make sure I don't get hit by repeated blasts. So once you take once I've took that arc shielded centurion out i'm just going to see if i can just take a couple of these ads and just leave me and the two champions now because i've got taken invigoration once i kill one of them i'm going to get a rift back so i'm going to put a rift down just to keep myself safe and i'm going to take this one on the right down first four shots and let the grenade finish it every time anything anything further away than where where that overload champion is and then just put five but because i don't have a grenade we're just going to do the stopping with the bow and then melt them and as you can see it's a considerable it's considerably more than four shots to take them down it's like nine or something so the grenade really is super good so we've got a green we have what we need now so as soon as we get inside here we're, we're in like a platform system there's going to be a taking a taken uh, solar shielded captain on each level. The bottom one's going to be elite. The top two are just going to be majors. Uh, but first off, we're just going to throw a grenade here and try and get some heavy ammo from these uh, taken thrall. And then take out this first captain. You see him right here. He'll always be in, in amongst all the, all the, the thrall. And the great thing about it is, you can see him there. Once you take him down, if there's any thrall around, around him, the explosive shot from the Xenophage kills them as well. Now, I, I'm sure most of you will know this anyway, but the cool thing about this subclass is when, when you get a charged melee kill, it gives you quite a bit of your grenade back. It's like half your grenade. So there are times where I'm looking to keep getting enemy low to get my to get my grenade back from mailing it doesn't always work because sometimes you misjudge how much health they've got and how much damage your melee is going to do but uh, it's worthwhile remembering that so i'll just pick up this attrition and just i don't have a grenade so just take out as many of these little lads as i can we want this elite to come over break the shield and just xenoface just mops that mops the the champion the the add up really really easily really well now, again, this is the opposite way. This is what happens when you're focused on other things. I thought I had a charged melee, and I didn't. But I didn't need it. So I'd done this live on stream, uh, which I'll speak about uh, when we've got a second, which we won't in this video. But I'm actually starting a new stream channel so that I'm not having to worry about streaming on my main channel anymore. But that will be in a separate post. So when, when I came out here, charged a grenade, stopped them both, which is what I've been trying to do with the rest of them. One shot stops them both, and I threw my Nova, and because they were both in a charged melee, charged grenade, sorry, uh, it killed both of them. Put a rift down here. Now, I didn't mind putting the rift down. I, I, it's not a waste, and I won't have to wait to get it back because of those, those elite phalanxes. Uh, each one of them would give me, if I used my rift, 
if I'd have used my rift after killing the first one, the second one would have given me it straight back because of taking invigoration. So I'm just waiting for a grenade. Put a grenade right against this box. That will kill. That will kill the scions up there. Gets me heavy ammo. And there we go. That's this section done. Now we've got to wait for this wizard to kind of go. Don't really want to want to push the wizard. And again, that that those taking kind of blowholes. I'm not sure that's the correct term for them, but it's what I call them. Uh, they get me into a little bit of trouble because I'm. You really have to be careful with them. Yet don't don't. Don't be too aggressive when they're around because all it takes is for one of them to, to hit you out of position and you're in a you're in a bad spot and I get myself into that by mistiming it. That's after this section. So this is another overload. So we're just gonna toss a grenade right up on top of there. That stops this overload. Now as you can see, now we need to put five shots on. Now there's a couple of just uh, taking vandals snipers there's three of them one down by the overload champion and two up by the boss so i want rid of those because they they these are those type of ads that that start shooting you when when you least expect it and it's slightly it can be slightly dangerous now we just one more up there but we've got what we need we're just going to put that down on this overload and then five shots with the xenophage and there we go now this is a bit light-hearted now how not to throw a grenade don't do that so what i'm going to do is the charge melee thing and it almost gave me my full grenade back and i've got a rift if i need it but no big deal Rather than sit here and wait for my my in it, my my health, I'm just gonna pick off the boss, just really kind of take my time. I get the boss down pretty low, and then I switch to my bow, two hits with the bow, and that's the boss down. Now there is an unstoppable and a and a and a, an overload. That's what I tried to do with the grenade the first time. There is an unstoppable and an overload, but what we're going to do is we're going to actually jump past them and fight them from up where the boss was. It actually makes it a little bit easier. You've got a better line of sight on them, and, and they don't... To be fair, if you try and take them any other way, it's either going to be time-consuming or dangerous. This is a very simple way to do it. So what we're going to do is just back up, jump on this box here, jump up where the overload was, and then we're going to do a big jump. Let the let the, the two bosses get an angle on us. And the minute I think they've got an angle, I'm just going to drop down, save myself, and slide into safety. So big big jump up in the air. Cut it off at the top of the jump. And then save yourself. It just makes you harder to track. Charge your grenade. Throw the grenade. And then stop the unstoppable. And then Nova. Should kill both of them. And there you go. That's this section done. And it's, it really is pretty simple. I mean, the whole tag word for the whole thing is just be careful. <laughs> so I put a grenade. I, I ran out and put a grenade straight away because I wanted to take that taken knight. That taking that taken knight straight away is huge. This whole section now is a ton easier because now now that now that now that we we've taken that taken knight, our where we where we would normally put push back to if we get pushed, which is here. The doorway in front of us is now no longer compromised. This is what I was talking about. Almost get myself in trouble because I didn't reload my Xenophage. But we're fine. We've got the full health. Charged shot. And then stop him. Finish our move. Perfect. And as I say, now the doorway is open. We don't, we don't have to worry about constant shots hitting that doorway in front of us. So just... Throw a grenade. Get a few more heavy rounds. And now what we're going to do is we've got some goblins. We've got an overload and another taken knight uh, solar shielded. So we're going to get up here on this little bit of cover. Rift. Now if we take down one of them. We're just trying to take the goblins down. If we take down one of these guys. 
we get the riff back. So we're not in any 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 hurry to do anything else now. We're gonna let this guy move out the way. He'll go to the top of the stairs. We're gonna stop him up there. Now you don't have to stop him up there. You, if you've got a grenade, the grenade over on the platform, you would have wiped him out with four shots. But this that kind of that just goes to show that you know the xenophage will stop these in one clip. We're just put, gonna put a grenade over there, switch to the xeno. And take out the solar shielded, solar shielded knight. Perfect. Now watch out for those blowholes. This is where I get into trouble with the blowhole. Just inside the doorway. So we're cool up to now. I shouldn't have thrown this grenade. I just wanted more, I 18 heavy. I wanted to make sure I got more heavy. I couldn't get a shot on these guys, and this is where I misjudged the the, 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 the explosion. I thought I thought I was going to be cool here. I thought I'd seen the explosion go off before it did, and then it blasted me straight out towards the wizard. Puts me in a lot of trouble here, but thankfully, I have my rift. So, now what I'm going to do, I haven't got my grenade, and I need it for this wizard, so we've got a trishim. Charge melee gives us our grenade back. Now, this was really weird. Because it took down the shield. I'm hitting, hitting the wizard with the Xeno. I then get hit. I then get hit with uh, by one of the blowholes, which stops me from managing to, to finish the wizard. Luckily, I've got explosive rounds on my hand cannon and my bow. So it actually went through the shields. But that is just, that's two, two, two circumstances there. Be careful with those blowholes because they can really, really put stuff in the mix. So I'm going to put a grenade right in the center because all those scions kind of always, they, they nearly always t start moving over to the right to try and get behind that kind of metal canister. And, you know, now, now we've got two, three, in this whole next section, we've got a couple of, couple of elites, nothing major, but we've got uh, three overloads. No more unstoppables, just all overloads. So we're just doing, we're trying to bush jump just to grab this champion's attention. We don't have a grenade, so again, we're just going to melt with the Xenophage, just, just from stopping it with the bow. And then what we're going to do is, when, once we get our grenade, we're going to charge our grenade, throw it in here, kill all these ads, and, and just get a, a whole bunch of lovely heavy. Once we clear out these these elites, now you'll see I try and actually get one low and do the charge melee thing and it didn't work because I didn't get it low enough. So another thing to be careful about. But once we do this, then we just got two overloads, then we're at the boss. And the overloads will be, most people have got an idea where the overloads are going to be. See, I missed the bow shot there or that would have that would have got me charge melee, which I didn't need. One's at the top of the stairs and one's all the way up to the top. So again, charge grenade. I'm lucky. I think I get a grenade on both of these. And the grenade finishes the boss off, the champion off. So let's talk about the boss because we're going to do the exact same thing here. Let's talk about the boss. What we're going to do with the boss is obviously once we've taken down the, the solar shielded cat, uh, knight that spawns in, the, in the, the blight, the two scions, we're going to take down the blight. Then the boss is going to come. Our strategy is going to be charge a grenade, throw a Nova at the boss. Now we're going to circle round him so that when he puts his shield up, he's putting it up. We're behind him so it won't actually block our super. It won't block any damage. Then there's a little ledge up to the right. We're going to get up there and we're going to utilize its kind of cover. Now it's not total cover. So there are a couple of things you need to do. One, back away at the edge of it. Duck. And use your taking invigoration to your your benefit, if you like. So, as you see here, we've took the ads down. Then we're going to put two two shots, two three shots of where was Xenophage. Make sure it's reloaded. Then jump up, charge a grenade, super. And then there's a rock at the back here. This rock here, jump on top of it. Run, get to the top of it. Jump all the way over to this pipe, you'll grab onto the pipe, and then jump up to the left, round the corner, up to here. 
And then we're just going to use what grenade. Toss it on the boss and just start hammering the boss. You see the crit numbers we're getting on the boss. Now I have a well, should I need it? Now you will sometimes need it. If you... If you've got it and you've got your grenade, put it down because the next wave is going to bring in some elites. You see all these ads down here? I'm going to put it down on top of those ads. You'll see me get my blight back, my rift back, because I've taken invigoration. So now I'm in a rift with another rift ready to pop. Now what we want at this point is my grenade. And we're going to put my grenade on the boss. As soon as we get the opportunity... And then we're going to melt the boss. And that is that. That is this run over. Very easy boss strategy. i done this four times on stream today. And uh, I got two Ascendant Shards. Maybe 20 Enhancement Prisms and three Exotics. So really good rewards from the Master. And this is quite a quick run. Hopefully this will help you guys farm this. It's very efficient. Works every time. Exactly the way I've shown you how to do it. Good luck with your farming, guys. I hope this helps you get through it, get some tasty rewards. And until the next video, you take it easy, and I will see you in the next one.